to America's elite businesses up close and personal. I'm your host, Chris Jones, and we are here for the beginning of our Monday fundraisers. We're at McKenna's place, and we've got the YMCA. We're going to talk to lots of people today. We're going to talk about the goods. We're going to get involved in some of their charities. Hang loose. We'll be right back. Well, we want to welcome everybody back to America's Elite Businesses Up Close and Personal. We've got a very unique podcast today. We're doing our Monday fundraiser. We'll be doing this here for the next three months. A charity, a wonderful charity at McKenna's Place. And of course, we begin our first Monday today. We've got Jared from the YMCA. We don't know each other from Adam. We don't even have any idea what we're going to talk about, but we know you're here. We know McKenna Place is, is donating proceeds for, for your, your, your interest and the things you need. Tell us a little bit about the YMCA and how you got involved with McKenna Place. So um, McKenna's has been awesome to, for us for the past three years with the Give Back Nights. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that the YMCA is a charity, we're a cause, we're a 501c3. Um, what we do is when you know all the proceeds that we get back, we put it right back in the community. It goes for swim lessons, after school, um, memberships, sports. So, it, like I said, it goes right back to the community. It helps out with the families in need. Well, it's kind of funny. We're here on Monday, McKenna Place. Is the place has given us an opportunity today. But I want to talk about you, Jared. We just meet today. Yeah. I know you're involved with a whole lot of yeah. things besides this Monday event here at McKenna's. Uh, tell us a little bit of your background and, and what's your day-to-day thing you do. Actually, I was born and raised in this community. I grew up in New Smyrna, um, grew up playing sports in here, you know, just kind of, and I got involved back in the YMCA through a summer internship, and I just kind of worked my way up, and the reason I love working at the YMCA is just to get back, you know, work with the kids, the families, and just see the development every day. How did this Monday fundraiser come to be? I understand that we've got Mondays booked all the way yeah. through December. You're the first one here. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys put this thing all together? So, funny story, um, Mike, the previous owner, I saw all these um, you know, organizations. You know, I was like, how do I get on this list? And he goes, well, I'm pretty much blocked, but if someone falls out and they don't show up, I just kind of I put your name on the list. And the past three years, we've been lucky enough to you know, come here. And if someone does call out or is unable to come, we're the first person they call because we're willing to come up here and you know be here and advertise. And you know, the more money we raise, the more families we can help. Let's talk about the YMCA, man. You said you're born and raised in this corner. Yes, sir. And you said McKenna's Place has been very active on letting you guys set up shop here. We've got a lot of things over there as well, besides the 10%, which they're donating to your cause, which you said you're going to give back immediately. All the foods and goods. Is this also helping? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Let's talk about who baked this. Where all so, this food um, comes. Actually, Are we, they donations? Yeah. Are they baked? Yeah. So all of our uh, baked goods are... Um, paid by all of our wonderful volunteers, our board members. But I couldn't do what we could without them. Um, they're generous to come out and help support. Like you said, like with them, like none of this would be possible. As we said, we want to welcome everybody again to America's Elite Businesses Up Close and Personal. Usually, we're interviewing a business owner, but we've got a completely different podcast today. We'll be here at McKenna Place each and every Monday, uh, raising money for particular charities. We've got Jared. Homegrown new sport of product here. We'll meet the ladies later. They're just a little wild. We're hoping their batteries will run down. But Jared, let's talk a little bit about the YMCA. My goodness gracious, this name has been around for uh, at least a half a century. How did you get involved in such a worthy cause? So, like I kind of said before, to start off with a sun, um, summer internship. Uh, growing up, I was never a Y kid. I was always doing the rec sports. But, you know, looking back at it, I wish, you know, the YMCA was there when I was a kid so I could have, you know, gone there and played sports, worked out, gone to the pool, you know. Our YMCA wasn't built um, until 2000, so none of that stuff was there when I was a kid. I was already in high school and in college and stuff like that. But, you know, looking back, you know, I wish my family was part of the YMCA. My family is now part of the YMCA, and it's just a great cause. It has everything you need, and we don't do, if you look around, we do more than anyone else does. So. I'm going to put you on the spot here because I don't know what this means. What does the YMCA mean? Young Men's Christian Association. Wow, I never knew that. <laughs> I mean, the YMCA has been around forever since I've been a child. I didn't know it was faith-based, which to me yeah. is absolutely yeah. incredible. Um, I want to talk again about McKenna Place, their involvement. Uh, numerous charities are stepping absolutely. up to be a part of this Monday uh, you said you're in here a few times here in the next couple months. Yep, um, we've been here, well, they've been generous with us for the past three years, um, and they give every organization at least two 
get baptized. Our, either this one on March 2nd, I believe we have another one um, in the in, towards the end of the year. What do you guys want to accomplish here? I understand helping out donations, but are there any long-term ramifications that you guys are looking to gain uh, with the exposure here from McKenna's Place and now from Titan Media? Well, it's, it's good because, you know, anyone that comes through here, they have questions about membership or upcoming sports or um, after school or summer camp. We're here, you know, if they have any questions, the ones that can't always bring it down to us, you know, I'm here to help answer those questions. Again, the more money that we raise tonight, the more families and kids I can help, um, you know, in our community. What's the key? I mean, the YMCA has been around forever, and we see in, in, in any line of business, yeah. after a certain amount of time, the longevity runs out. Yeah. And newer and bigger things come onto the scene here, but what has kept the YMCA so strong with such great longevity and so many kind hearts still yeah. pursuing yeah. to help you guys? What, what's the Yeah, story? you kind of um, knocked on the head when you said strong. Our Basically, our cause, and that we are a cause, is the strength in the community. If that's with you know wellness, if that's with sports, if it's with um, child development, child prevention, we want to strengthen our community to be a better community. Jared, who are the people behind the scenes? I mean, I caught yeah. you today, yeah. and again, this is our first Monday here at McKenna Place. Here, we're doing all kinds of donations today. The first Monday will be here through December the seventh. Each and every Monday is exclusively at McKenna Place here, but. Um, how did you get the number one slot here? I mean, I, 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 I mean what, did we draw straws or just? I have no idea. Just who you know, basically. <laughs> so. I want to go behind the scenes, Jared. You're the first person I've met at the YMCA. Okay. Uh, it's kind of like getting the Academy Award. Who would you like to think that gives you the strength to get through your days? I, I would say my volunteers, the staff. You know, you, like, the staff are the only thing you can do. Um, volunteers, the board, just the, in, it goes back to the members. We couldn't do it without the members, the volunteer coaches, everyone. You said members. Yeah, you said volunteers. Tell me the difference between the two. Um, you know, we do have some volunteers that are also members, but, you know, with our volunteers and any of our sports coaches, it's our board of directors. Um, members are, are paying members that you know use the YMCA for services such as you know through X classes, the wellness center, the school, things like that. You said the facility is just built in 2000. Was it an upgraded facility or was it a brand new facility? Um, from what I understand, it was uh, built at the rec center and they converted into the YMCA. Well, we want to thank everybody. We're going to be here for a couple hours here. My name is Chris Jones. I'm the host of America's Elite Businesses Up Close and Personal. We're at McKenna's Place here. We'll be here each and every Monday. We're lucky to have Jared in the YMCA today. We're going to follow him around all day. We'll be right back. We want to welcome everybody back to uh, America's Elite Businesses Up Close and Personal. We've got a unique Monday podcast. Today we're at McKenna's. We've got the YMCA. We're at the beginning stages of a three-month podcast where we're going to come out and watch the donations flow. We've got three wonderful ladies with us today. I'm going to let you tell our audience who they are and their roles. The YMCA can't be done without you ladies. Let's talk a little bit. It's, tell us what you're doing. Hi, I'm Gloria. I'm a retired um, instructor from the YMCA, but I've also always volunteered with them. It's a very important part of our, of our little community here to help the kids, the seniors, the families that may need help. We keep them involved with sports and, and child care and after school care and learning how to walk again and many, many programs that we have at the YMCA. It is not what anybody thinks anymore. Can I ask you a question real quick yes. here? McKenna's has obviously given us a venue here to do good things, a great fundraiser on each and every Monday. Are you guys finding other places also getting involved? We do something with Chick-fil-A. Okay, great. And then we do this one. And we do other things throughout the year at the facility. Should we mislead my audience and let them know that I cooked all these things? Or? <laughs> these, these I mean, it would be the first time I've misled everybody on the camera here, but obviously these have been made with a lot of care and love, and there's no prices, which means anybody it's can snap up It's a donation. Yep, it's a donation. We don't price anything. It's whatever you can afford to give us. Well, we, we have, appreciate it. And we have three ladies here today. This one we're waiting to the very end here. I'm trying to let her battery wear down a little bit, but uh, you walked up on me. And uh, the YMCA has obviously been a name for a long time. Tell us your name and your role here today. I'm Marcy, and um, I've been a member of the Y for about five years here in Edgewater. And uh, McKenna's is a wonderful friend to the Y. They invite us um, to do our bake sale, and we have wonderful cooks that make a lot, as you can see, of homemade items. 
And as Gloria said, it's donations only. We don't ask for a specific price, but all the money goes right back to the Edgewater Y, and which is locally for us. And um, we're very blessed that, that McKenna's, um, you know, welcomed us here. They're, they're just a real supportive of us and everything that we do. This is the third one that we've done here. And um, we just hope some people will come and support McKenna's as they've been support for us. Well, we're, we're gonna continue to support you guys. Fat free cookies, is that true or no? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll scribble this out and write it no, on No, there no, no, right we're, we're not gonna mislead anybody. Yeah. <laughs> we're at McKenna's, we're at our first of many, many Monday uh, fundraisers here. We got all the gals here from the YMCA. Um, last but not least, the quietest one of all. Give us sure. your name and, and, and tell us a little bit on, on why you're here, giving us your quiet approach to today. My name's Vicki Briggs, and behind us here are my grandchildren, my husband, all my best friends, and they're all here as I am to support the YMCA. Probably when my grandkids were five and six and seven, they would come to the Y to join the summer programs. And so my husband and I got involved and we enjoyed the water aerobics, which Miss Gloria taught us the water aerobics. And this is my sister, by the way. No. You know that. <laughs> yeah. And my sister okay. kind of reeled me in to become a board member with the YMCA. And um this is a great group of people, uh, a great Christian organization, and they don't say that so much, but it is, but it is. And we're here now just to raise money to sponsor children for summer camp, for projects that Hawaii doesn't always have the funds for. And, and you yeah, know, swim lessons for children, for babies. So there's so many good things that most people just think the YAMCA is to come to a gym. That's not what it is. There's so many more things. And so what the little bit we can do, the little bit we can donate, we'll get back. And um, I'm retired for the most part. These ladies are retired for the most part. It's time for us to give a little bit back. Well, we're Amen. happy. We're happy uh, to be here today. This is our first Monday on our Monday fundraiser here. We've got lots of people involved. We've got the YMC here today. We're going to talk, as we said, for the next two or three hours to many people here enjoying their time here. But you, you had a good point. Yes, sir. You know, the YMCA is, is a name that we've seen for, for decades. But you said there's a lot more than just the gym and the pool approach. What, what are you guys doing on a daily basis besides here? I'm actually a realtor. Okay. I'm here, and I have been for 30 years. My sister retired from Airlines. Gloria has worked in Chicago in many aspects. So, you know, we all come from different walks of life, and we just find time to get back a little bit. I was a like restaurant manager in Chicago, and then I came down here and became a instructor, an aerobics instructor for the life. And, and nobody has been ever. able to replace her yet. And the best ever. Are, are you guys all volunteering in for your time yes. here? For oh, those absolutely. Kids? Or are, we, are we looking for more? Volunteers. Absolutely. Well, why don't you give our extensive audience some some names or a location if where you, they can get some more? If you want to volunteer, please call Jarrett Corey at Southeast uh, Volusia YMCA, and that number is 386 409 9622. And he will get right back with you. There's a form you fill out. And uh, we, we do do a background check on everyone. Okay. So it, it takes just a short little bit. And we will hook you up with who you need to do. Because we are always looking for people that are. Always. Well, we want to please stay tuned. We've got hours more of what we're doing today. We're at McKenna's Place here in New Smyrna Beach. The first of our Monday fundraisers. And we've got the YFC here today. We spoke to Jared and the ladies. Stay tuned. We'll be right. We want to welcome everybody back again to America's Elite Businesses up close and personal. We're doing our Monday fundraiser. We're grabbing any and everybody who comes in, even when they're not aware of the fundraiser, but they're here to enjoy the day here. Zenia, good to have you here. And, and uh, are you a new, are you a new resident? Yes, I am. And how often do you come in here? Um, four to five times a week. Oh, hold on, let's. I'm not even going to edit that right there. You come here four or five times a week? Yeah, actually, yes. What's your favorite food? Um, here, uh, the shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos? They're pretty good. You know, we have a, a Monday fundraiser here, which we're going to be here every Monday all the way through December. We're kind of oh, doing, we're doing the podcast for this place. And um, the YMCA is here today. 
or baking cookies? Are you a cookie fan or is it tacos or not? And can we ask you something real quick besides being here pretty much your, your entire life? What do you do outside of this place? It makes what? Onions. Yes, well, that is interesting. We just wanted to very quickly here talk to some of the people that were coming in today. We're at McKenna's place here. It's our Monday fundraiser. We've got the YMCA, the beginning of a lot of very interesting months here. We thank you for your time and for your short We're wrapping up our Monday fundraiser at McKenna's here, and we want to take a minute and go behind the scenes and, and visit some of the faces that make this place run. We have Jessica with us. Jessica, thank you for joining us. It's our first Monday. We're going to be here for the rest of the Mondays all the way through December. You're a greeter. That's an important job. You meet people and you see them as they go out. So is this a stepping stone for your career? Thank you. Yes, it is. I am hoping after this to become a teacher for the special needs, hopefully for fifth grade, because that is a very big, big age gap that people need the extra help in because when they get into middle school and high school they don't always get the opportunity and help from the teachers so i would like to give them the help that they need well let me ask you something working at mckenna it's, it's a lot of people good people yeah. it's a great restaurant everybody seems to to leave with a smile on their face has this been like a real encouraging stepping stone for what you want to do yes it has been and i couldn't ask for better um, team of co-workers to work with every day of the week basically. Well, that's great. You know we're going to be here every Monday. Yeah. There'll be a different charity. Myself and Jesse will be here. Um, can you say a yay for us to come back next Monday? Yes, I will enjoy you guys coming back every Monday and I'm working every Monday. It's a closer. Well, we want to thank Jessica. As we said, we're wrapping up our day. Uh, our fundraisers are just beginning. We're going to talk to a few more employees as we wrap up. We'll talk to the next one. Well, we want to welcome everybody back to Titan Media's uh, America's Elite Businesses up close and personal. Of course, we're doing a very unique podcast today, a fundraiser every Monday, and we're doing it at McKenna's Place, and you guys need to tune in and check us out every Monday into deep December. Well, behind the scenes is why we come to McKenna's, and we're fortunate to have the owner, John, with us today. John. Thank you for coming out. We oh man, you. we're going to be here every month. Thank you, John. We're going to be here every Monday, but um, behind the scenes, again, people come out here because they like to be affiliated with a classy place, a place that's also very active in the community. When did you guys start becoming so active in the community? Uh, well, this location has been here for about uh, 19 years. Okay. So uh, my family has uh, been brought up as to we have to give back to the people that take care of us. You know, without the community, we wouldn't be here. So uh, we've been doing this for uh, about 10 years at this location. Uh, started with probably five or six groups, and now we have uh, about 20 groups that we do. Well, when I first met you, I was like, well, okay, we're going to do a couple of these with you. And you said, Chris, we're booked all the way through December. I'm like, John, you've got... We've got numerous weekends already pre-booked, and that takes a little work to be able to get a group out here to have an active charity to know that there's going to be consistency. Uh, how long have you guys been consistent with having the same people out here? Um, well, I've been here for about nine years, and uh, every year it gets more and more consistent. Uh, you know, we uh, have groups that are knocking at the door, wanting more days, or uh, new groups wanting to come in, and so. You know, we hate to turn down people, so we'll do uh, different bake sales on Saturdays if we can, um, from five to nine. And uh, although we don't do the ten percent proceeds, we still uh, find that that's a good way to support them and help them for whatever their event is that they're trying to you know, raise money for. Let's talk about the ten percent proceeds now. And correct me if I'm wrong here. Every Monday that we're actually having our fundraiser out here with a different charity, from five to nine, you're donating ten percent of the proceeds. To that charity is that correct yes that is correct now, how did that originate and it's 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 wonderful because your charities are already pre-booked all the way through december yep yep we uh we usually sign up uh, around october november we book out for the next year and uh, we uh they have a greeter that we uh that will open the door for them and uh, they give them a little slip of paper says hey we'll give this to your server 10 percent will be donated to our group and uh, so we collect all that up and then uh, write the check to them the following week. So. You're a new generation of owner. I mean, it's a family business. I like to hear a little bit about the family and how long you guys have been doing it. And now it's your turn. What are your goals and expectations for 2020? 
Yep, yep, I then uh, handed over the reins. Uh, my dad is the oldest out of uh, eight kids. It was four boys and four girls, big Irish family. And we always said I didn't have anything to do back then but just make babies. So, uh, so he is the oldest out of the eight. And then the previous owner, he was uh, the second to youngest, and he was uh, partners with his brother in this location. And they had it uh, for probably about 14 years when they hired and doing this for, for 35 years. I went out, I said, hey, I'm still young, I got it in me. Like, let's keep it in the family uh, in the family name, you know, make the family proud and keep keep this going along. You know? I hate to see him turn it over if somebody hurt the name or run it down and right, right. spend here for so long. And, and that's important until you, you mentioned West Palm Beach here and I just happened to be fortunate enough to, to play football with an old Miami Dolphin down in West Palm Beach, Dan Marino. And with, you know, maybe one day when he's up here at Dolphin, we can bring him in and have him enjoy oh, all, awesome. all the goodness here. We want to thank everybody again for tuning in, of course, every Monday. Uh, we're going to be doing a great fundraiser here. This is the place to be. We have John, the owner. We're going to get one more interview, and we'll see you guys next Well, we week. want to welcome everybody back to Titan Media's America's Elite Business is up close and personal, a unique Monday. We're doing actual fundraisers here, and we're at McKenna's place here, but I want to go behind the scenes before we duck out here. The people that make this happen, the people that allow the charities to come in, and the people that work hard to give this place a great reputation. We've got Bobby with us here. Bobby runs this place here. Bobby, very quickly, we appreciate you having myself in. And of course, Jesse here behind the camera. You guys got a little bit of a history, but when did you guys originate this, this Monday fundraiser and how fast has it caught on? Way before I even started here. I've okay. only been here for about a year and a half. It's okay. been probably eight years maybe, I would say. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I, I know a lot of bars and, and, and restaurants and just businesses in general try to get involved in, in charities here, but this is a real community charity and this is a real community place of business. We talked about yep. the people who come in here, that you guys that. have figured them out. You know how to price them, you know how to treat them like kings. Uh, is it the same thing with the charity? Same thing. I mean, we give back to the community as much as we can. And uh, we do what we can for everybody in the community. And, and you know, I want to talk very quickly here about the people behind the scenes. That's the one thing you can tell me about. I mean, the people that come in each and every day, there's different faces, even though there's a lot of common Joes and families that right come in. Yep. Your team behind us, how important are they? We wouldn't have a restaurant without them. Um, they come in every day, before us sometimes. After us, and without them, no sales, no food, as a general, no customers. As a general manager, though, I mean, there's so many facets that have to work together. Is there one particular thing that's overly important? Or are they all just very strong working pieces? All of them together. I mean, without the kitchen staff, you don't have service staff. Without service staff, you don't have the kitchen staff. Quick question here before we go here. Uh, Jesse is our guy behind the camera. You guys got a little bit of a history. Yep. Uh, anything you want to reveal here that's, that, that that we can talk about in public? Um, Probably not. Got a great work ethic. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, definitely got a personality and he knows how to do his job. And he wears a nice tight shirt. I mean, he's, nice, he's, 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 well, he, he's, he's well built, so everything is fine. We want to thank again. We're at McKenna's place here, and this is our Monday where we're going to be here for a lot of Mondays. We have Bobby, the general manager, here. We're wrapping it up. Check us out next week. Thank you.